guys, it's me, Love DIY, and as you can tell if you've watched a couple of my last videos, the background in my video is different. That is because a lot of you complain about my um, iPad's crappy quality of a camera um, and that you can't really see me, I'm kind of blurry, or it's not light enough, or it's not, you know, like just vibrant enough. So um, I'm recording in front of my window hoping that um, this will give me a little bit better light for you guys and I don't know why you want to see my face so bad you know like just brightly but you guys were complaining about it um so today is uh let's see what is today today is Sunday the 26th of April um and on Thursday, I do believe The Sims Freeplay released a new um, trailer for a new update, which they do um, about every month or about every month and a half, depending on how long their update like quests are and stuff like that. So I decided to do a Sims Sunday video. Every Sunday, I will be doing something about The Sims because a lot of you um, who have subscribed to my channel... Sorry, I'm sick. A lot of you have subscribed to my channel because I used to do um, some free play cheats and reviews and stuff like that. So I wanted to still fill that need for you guys of um, the Sims free play and not just, you know, all my new stuff that I'm coming out with. So every Sunday, um, hopefully, will be um, a uh, Sims free play, whether it's um, a walkthrough, just my opinions on a new update if one has come out, um, if it's like maybe even just Sims in general for like Sims 3 or 4 or 2 or the first Sims or the app versions of the Sims 3. Something Sims will be coming out on a Sunday. So that is my new goal is to make Sunday my hashtag Sims day. So if you guys like this idea, comment below telling me you like it, and that way I know to keep doing it, because if you guys don't like it, then, I'm prob then I won't keep doing it. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions through my email and um, through my instant messaging on Twitter, you know, the guys that follow me, you can message me and stuff. Um, I've had a couple of comments on some Instagram pictures and a lot, a lot of comments and messages on my Facebook. Asking me, can I do a video going over the life orbs and their uses in The Sims Free Play? Because a lot of you guys still don't understand the orbs and everything. So I'm going to be going over that today in a video. This video might be kind of long because I did write down and type up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and put it on my phone so that I can read it to you guys. Um, I've been doing more research on it because I actually was with you guys. I wouldn't really answer. I'd answer back, but I would would not have a good answer for it. Because I myself still didn't really understand the whole life orbs and everything because I don't really use them. So... I had to do some research on it, and this is what I've come up with. So I'm going to be reading this to you guys. So again, it could be a little bit of a long video, maybe a little bit over 15 minutes. I'm going to try and keep it to 15 minutes, but we will see. Okay, so life orbs and their uses. Okay, so there are four types of orbs. There's a bronze orb, a silver orb, a gold orb, and a platinum orb. And um, they're all obtained as your sims die. So, basically, I think it appeared in the Life Dreams and Legacy quest. And what that means is you have to pick every um, time your sim ages from starting at toddler. Um, when they're a baby, they don't have Life Dreams. But when they're toddlers, preteens, teens... Young, I think it's young adults or adults. I think it's adults. I think young adults is in Sims 3. Um, so adults and then seniors, they each get um, a different like life dream that they want to complete. And when you complete that life dream, it will allow you to age up for free instead of like the whole birthday cake thing. And um, 
if you complete each life dream throughout their, um, you know, your toddler, your preteen, your teen, and your adult, and then your senior, when your senior is ready to move on, um, when they die, I shouldn't say move on, when they, um, die, you will get a little orb that, you know, is a bronze, silver, gold, or platinum, um, and it'll be for whatever they are, like if they're a gamer, I think it's a gamer now, um, if they're a geek, or a geek would be a gamer, um, you know, if they're uh, an animal lover, all that kind of stuff, then it'll be for that specific one. And then when you add a new sim to your town, um, then you can give them, you know, if you want them to be an animal lover, say you have a bronze orb for an animal lover, then you can give them that bronze orb. And as their life dreams progress and you progress their life then you can upgrade it to a silver orb when they die, and then on and on and on. Which I probably am going to end up saying this again because I put everything down in here. But I just wanted to kind of like explain that whole thing. Okay, so, um, okay, if they have successfully completed one of their life goals, um, once you have completed the required missions to mature your game to the point at which the lifespans are active, then the life orb progress is active. Okay, so that's basically what I was just telling you guys. Um, okay, so each sim is now born with a life goal meter that runs from 0 to 100, and like I said, you have to complete those, so you will know that your system has been fully and uh, fully enabled in your game when during the creation process of your sim is given a personality. So each personality, you can have an orb. When that person dies, you can move up your orb rank to the platinum, which I still have not done. I think I'm on a gold orb on most of mine. I don't think I've made it to platinum yet. Um, okay, let's see, what was I... Alright, the new personality system is in is a part of the orb system. Once the system is fully integrated into your game, the sims that already existed will not have a life dream. So if you guys have not done the life dreams and legacy quest, um, then this doesn't really apply to you because you have to do that quest before this is put into your game. Um, after you do that, all the sims that you have created before that will not have to do this. But any sim that you create afterwards, I do believe, has to do it. Um, so you will need to create a life goal for them, which you have three options, I do be three or four options, um, when you click on the choose your life dream, you'll get three or four options, I think it's four, um, and then you can choose one and then that's what you can do, say like, um, one option could be to break, uh, bake gingerbread cookies, um, and then you just keep baking gingerbread cookies on your stove until that whole bar fills up. Um, I don't know if you can notice that, but I have, like, eyeliner right there. <laughs> um, but that's what that means. And it says that you can accomplish this by using your wardrobe, um, which you open the wardrobe, and if you guys don't know what a wardrobe is, it's your closet like your, you know, your dressers and all that, um, you can open your wardrobe and then you'll find the option to grant your sim a personality when they lack that status. Okay, so once they have obtained the personality slash the life goal slash life dream system, it's now activated for that sim. So you have to do it for every sim. And then you must do this for each of the sims that do not have a personality individually before they can fully participate in that part of living. Which I actually think the life orb thing is kind of cool. I don't like the fact that you have to do it, but um, if you don't want to spend like five LPs on a birthday cake and then wait like a day, which I don't even know if they still have birthday cakes in the game. I haven't even actually looked. Um... It, I think it's actually a little bit better than spending like five or six LPs on a birthday cake, waiting a day for it to bake, um, and then, you know, aging up your sim one by one by one, but this way, you know, you work on each person's dream and then you can age them up for free. It just takes a little bit longer, um, which is another bad thing, I guess, 
um, depending on who you are. I mean, I kind of like it, but it all depends on different people. Um, okay, so during each of the six stages of your life, your life, your sim will obtain a unique goal um, slash life dream. Fulfilling that goal dream will add a fixed amount of percentage points to a bar. Um, depending on the complexity of the, um, you know, goal that you give them. So, like, I think the hardest toddler goal for your toddlers is the rocking horse one. So, if you guys watch this and you're just now doing your life dream stuff, um, or even if you've done that and you're, you want one that's not going to take forever to age up your person um for toddlers i know for sure it's the rocking horse one because the rocking horse one only takes like the max of 45 minutes each time and you have to do it so many times before they age up i found that out the hard way um i had a couple of toddlers and i thought oh this would be so fun you know their moms did like the horse trick things and all that and i want them to do you know what their moms are doing when they get older so i'll just make them be like little horse rodeo people and you know ride their horses and then when they grow up they can ride the bigger ones yeah it took me like about maybe two maybe not two weeks but like a week to get everybody who i had doing the rocking horse thing completely finished because I don't have my own internet I can't play whenever I want to now which is probably another reason why it took so long but I did try and stay up on it and it still didn't work so I think the rocking horse for the toddlers is the longest one I'm not sure throughout everybody else's which one's the longest one but I think me personally the longer the the goal is like to bake say like gingerbread cookies I'm not sure how long it takes I'm just going to say like eight hours um I think the longer the task is the more it gives you and the shorter amount of time it takes to fill it up um okay so we'll be fixed a percent yeah 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 um, okay, so if your sim dies without completing the or filling the meter, they will not receive the orb. So if you didn't finish the life quest for that sim before it passes on, you won't get it. Um, but they do give you the option before your sim passes on if you'd like to reverse their age so that they can go back. Say like they're if they're senior and you're fixing to die but you didn't finish, then you can spend like four or five life points and they will go back to the peak of their senior, um, senior like you know whatever when they first turn senior and then you can do that whole cycle all over again to try and complete your thing but you will have to spend life points on it if you want to get that orb um but you know if your sim dies and you don't really care about the orb then i guess it doesn't really matter then i guess you're probably not even watching this video right now um your motivation is to get the meter to 100 percent prior to your sims experience expiring um if you fill the meter when your sim passes away the life orb will spawn so when your person dies and um you got your orb you can either click you can click on the orb and you can either give it to a sim that you ha don't have an orb for that you have the same personality for or you can just put it into your inventory and whenever you create a new sim uh then you can you know give that orb to that new sim um, let's see. Okay, when this happens, you should open the build slash buy menu, tap the orb, and place it into your inventory. You do this because the live orb can be used for several purposes, which we'll now cover. The life orb and its uses. Okay, so there are three uses for the life orbs that um, you have placed in your inventory and saved at the present time. The first thing is generating income. A life orb can be sold... Um, from within your inventory to create wealth so you can sell your life orbs if you're broke um, and I don't know how much they sell for I didn't even know you could sell them um, until I had researched this um, but I don't know how much they sell for so I couldn't tell you um, I don't remember looking it up to see how much it how much it is I could have but I don't think I did so it can be um, sold to create wealth. Um, if you think of that as the inheritance passes on from a senior to their relations, then um, it's strongly recommended that you never do this. The money that can receive through selling a life orb is never worth the effort that went into your creation or the potential good you can do with using it for another sim. 
um, which means basically if you're kind of like me and you like to have um, families um, with kids and all that and dogs and pets and stuff, um, say you're the parents, you know, the kids get older, they're turning adults, your parents are dying off, um, you can, you know, keep that whole generation going in the family and get to your platinum orb and stuff like that, um, which is why they say you don't have to sell it, but you can if you want the money for it. Um, the second one is for life orb improvements. So when your sim dies and you place your orb into the inventory, then the next time a new sim is born with that personality trait, you can give that orb to that sim. Um, and when that sim has the geek, like just say like if the sim has the geek personality, um, and the infant you have created also has the geeky personality, then you can apply that bronze orb to that sim. Or if that, you know, if you had already done this a few times, then bronze, gold, or whatever. Um, and then you can apply that orb to the new infant, um, sim. Now, I recommend you do this with newborns because if you give the orb to an adult, then you have to go through each stage. Um, so if, like, you have a toddler and you complete the toddler, then the preteen, then the teen, then the adult, um, and then you work your way all the way up to senior and you have that bar fully progressed, if you just give it to an adult, you'll have to do um, the adult's tasks from toddler all the way up. So I think it's better to just work on the, you know, from toddler all the way up instead of giving it to an adult. <laughs> Okay, so after they complete their life cycle, then the meter obtains a hundred. And I feel like I already said this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I already said that. Okay, so moving on to number three, because it basically covered number two. Um, creating building orbs. Um, okay, so your life orbs can also be used to create buildings. Um, and I do believe this is such as the carnival, um, the pet park, and something else. It might just be those two, but I think that you use your orbs to do the carnival and the pet park. And you need, like, so many of what, like, say, three bronze, three silvers, four gold, you know, they give you different amounts. Um, okay, so your life orbs can be used to build different places, um, which are absolutely required if you want the construction to go underway. Um, so it's special structures and uh, destinations like the beach and the mystery island. Um, creating building orbs is the accomplishment of combining the different types of life orbs to create the building orbs that you need for your specific project. So like I said, each different project will have different requirements of orbs. Um, the arcade, to build the arcade, um, it combines of one bronze um, geek life orb and one silver geek life orb. And to build the beach, it you need two bronze sport life orbs and two bronze, uh, two silver life orbs. So, or they're both sporty. Um, and by working towards your improvements of building all these different um, places, you know, you can visit the beach and you can have your some swim and surf and snorkel and you can have the kids play like the arcade games and all that different stuff. If you're not interested in that, then you don't have to build it, of course. Um, but if you want to build it, then go right ahead and work towards it. Um, okay, so a note on the orb creation. Um, the first sim you successfully bring through the life orb process will receive a bronze orb. Um, this is the lowest type of orb. Um, and then the bronze orb has several uses and discussed and it will retain in your inventory and or sold for simoleons if you choose to. Um, it can be used to create the next generation in your family to be into the bronze section um, or it could be used for your buildings and, you know, different stuff like that. Um, orbs can be used for recipes for creating special buildings, destinations in your world, um, each of which have, um, 
far-reaching consequences and advantages. Um, so in the short orb system function, basically, as a both um, as tangible means that you can assign your value for your sim and their life, and it means that you can improve both your sim town and your society. So there are plenty of things that you can do with your life orbs. I'm sorry if I kind of rambled on and, like, maybe you don't understand. Um, I will try and, like, list everything that I basically read, um, in the description if not I don't think I can because I think there's a limit but basically I read from here and I put it in most of my own word um, from me you know retyping it up and everything so I hope that you guys like this video if you were confused on the life orbs um, and how they work and different things you can do with them if you're not to that point yet if you are into that point and you really don't care about this video I hope you give it a thumbs up anyway to help me out um, if you guys have any kind of questions about how to play the game or about different things in the game like such as um, maybe like a walkthrough of the game or the businesses of the game or the industry of the game or community lots um or things you should just add into your game to help other players who might be your friend in the game or your achievements or anything like that comment below asking me to um and I will start a hashtag so that you guys can hashtag me on Twitter and ask me all these great questions for Sim Sunday. And I hope you guys hit that subscribe button to help me out so you always know when new videos come out. And I hope you guys have a great day. All my social media stuff will be linked below in the description. And yeah, bye guys.